What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Marvel Snap. Uh, we did one video like this a few months ago. I kind of want to do a monthly uh, check-in every couple months. Um, this is kind of a tour of my variants. We're going to talk about what variants I've collected, which ones are my favorites. I'm not going to spend too much time going over ones that we went over in the last session, uh, so I encourage checking that one out. But I really just wanted to give you guys a tour. Um, collecting variants is one of my favorite things in this game. I don't love all of the variants, so I mostly just collect the ones that I think are really cool or the ones that look really nice. Um, so, like things like this Dan Hip Wasp is one of my favorite ones, although I also like this Winter Wasp. Also, actually, has some of my favorite variants in general. Um, I like a lot of the Dan Hip ones. I know Dan Hip variants are kind of one of those like things that are split in the community. Not as split as Pixels, but I know there's a vocal... I, I'm going to call them a vocal minority. But I don't know the actual numbers that a lot of people don't like these variants. I think they're incredible. Um, so that bass is one of my favorite newer additions to the squad. Um, this one most people have, but getting the black and white split on this for the winter vacation sunspot. Uh, just, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, that one was one of my things I wanted the most when I saw this variant. Like, it's a nice variant in general. But when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get that in black and white. And it looks so, so good. Uh, I think I added Venomized Angel. I, I collect some of the Venomized ones on the side. Um, they're not like my highest priority, but some of them look really, really, really cool. Um, this is one of my favorite newer ones. This one and the Killmonger. We'll see the Killmonger in a little bit. Uh, but the, is it Kyle or Kale variants? This Mbaku looks awesome. I've been finding reasons to shove him into decks uh, just because of how cool he looks. don't think there's much new in my one or, one or two drop department. This one was one from yesterday. This was a snap by uh, Nullified Black Widow. I'd been looking for a Black Widow variant that I really like. I'd split the baby one just because it was okay. Uh, there's that one Black Widow that was in space that I almost bought a couple times, but I never quite pulled the trigger. It really wasn't like fully resonating with me. This Black Widow, the Nullified one, I was like, absolutely all in. Give me that right now have added a Dan Hip Collector, although my favorite still remains uh, the Kale variant of the Collector. Art Germ, Carnage, still just the toppest of top tier. Don't know if I added Nullified Daredevil since last time, but uh, if not, just in case, I've added this guy as well. I think it looks awesome. The Nullified variants look so, so good. Uh, we also got ourselves a Venomized Craven. That was pretty sweet. Uh, still looking for some more reasons to play Craven in some decks, um, but you know, we'll figure it out over time. Uh, I forgot the artist's name, but there's a artist that made, I think, like a Zabu, Carnage, Venom, and something else. And it was like this really awesome, like, brush stroke art style. Um, really wanting to get some of those whenever they're available, if they aren't already. I've also been starting out on the Noir variants. Noir? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I got Maria Hill, I think I have Coulson, I think everybody has Fury, uh, I got Kingpin as well, we'll just see all those. I think these ones just look really cool, especially for these shield characters. It just kind of gives them this like cool little uh, style of like, they still look like they're like cop type look, like official soldier military type thing, uh, but just this kind of cool dark spin on that uh, existing look. So that's pretty sweet. I did recently get this Colleen Wing. This was another nice one because I didn't have any Colleen variants. Um, so this one will probably be the one I split because it's got a nice little cat in the, the art. So we're going to be sticking with that one for a while. I think this lizard is new or on the newer side. Um, this has become my main lizard. I used to use this one and it's still a pretty nice one. I just think this one looks really cool. I believe we've shown this green goblin. Just This art goes so hard in so many different ways. Um, it might be one of the few cards that looks better, not black and white, like the all red, uh, but you can't go wrong with that card. This Ironheart variant is just absolutely fire. This was another one where I had no Ironheart variants, so I had a lot of uh, boosters, but when this thing hit the shop, I was like, snap by. Just uh, the Riri art here is awesome. The uh, Tony Stark in the background, kind of hologram type thing. That one is just a absolutely fire art. I have added the Winter Vacation 
Patriot as well as his regular Patriot, but Winter Vacation is going to be my main for Patriot, as well as Rogue. Although this Rogue one with the hot chocolate looks awesome, but I still think that this uh, Rogue variant is great as well. We've added a Den Hip Brood, although I've not been playing that many um, Silver Surfer decks, so I haven't really been getting a lot of Brood gameplay in as of late. What other new ones do we have? This is the Killmonger. So it's weird because like this is the actual base variant right here and it looks very similar to the gold split that's why i kind of kept this one around i think this as the gold split looks kind of similar to the regular art this is it as a regular affinity split and it still looks good but i don't think it looks as good as like this base background so i really wanted to get a gold split so it could kind of still be split have some cool effects but also still kind of keep the original look and feel and we got that with our second split of the card and i think it looks so so good like this um we'll level that up over time to get the 3d and all that stuff in there but even just like this it looks incredible here's the uh agent colson noir i think it looks really really cool i don't know if we had this one shown as well but this looks pretty nice also uh, colson has some pretty sweet variants did pick up the uh, Wakanda Buster variant for Hulkbuster. I was torn just because Hulkbuster and more for two cards where you don't really get to show off your variant that often. So it's like you play it, it gets like in Hulkbuster's case, it attaches to a card. You see this variant for like five seconds. But ultimately, this looks so cool that I just wanted to pull the trigger on it anyway. And then we've also got the Noir Kingpin. This one just looks extra awesome. It's got like the gun down here, the brass knuckles on, the money falling around, some guy he just knocked off. Uh, that just looks absolutely top tier. Uh, this was the bundle, Mr. Negative. This was a new addition. I uh, had been trying to split the demon for Mr. Negative, and I still like him quite a bit, but this one just looks really cool. It almost looks like an anime character. I've gotten a couple Draculas. That kind of these traditional ones looking like regular dracula but i still think this 3099 one is the best I've not added any dark hawk variants i had one in the shop the other day but it did not get me to pull the trigger this absorbing man was a new one the fear itself variant i think this looks really cool and i play a good amount of absorbing man so i was excited to get a cool variant for him um yeah just this looks really awesome we also grabbed the Symbiote Spider-Man. I'm working on getting the boosters to split this guy. Uh, we're almost there. I have been rocking the Hoodie Spider-Man. I still think this one is awesome, uh, but I want to split the Symbiote one as well. I think I've shown the Cyberpunk Moon Girl previously. We've got a bunch of new pixels. Um, I don't really go over the pixels because I don't really care for them all that much, uh, but we've gotten a ton of pixels since last time. Uh, we got the Winter Vacation Rock Slide, which is the Winter Vacation card I wanted the most. Absolutely love this variant. This is my main Rock Slide. Um, like, this one's cool as well, but you, you can't beat that Winter variant. That is just too good. We got Luchador Taskmaster. We got both the Den Hip and the Ultimates Blue Marvel. I'll probably be sticking with the Den Hip one once I start playing some more Blue Marvel again. Really haven't been lately. We got the baby Captain Marvel, which is a, a decent variant. I just don't really play enough Captain Marvel to warrant any of that. I got so many Fury splits for variants. We got the signature one that everybody got. We got the Dan Hip one. This classic Nick Fury. We got the Noir Nick Fury. I think that was from the Battle Pass, though. This is still like the coolest variant in the game. You guys have seen this one before, but I'm going to show it up every time. This is why I play Black Bolt so much. I did recently get this uh, Julio Rin Rincio. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering that name. Uh, Modoc. I'm getting ready. After I split the main Modoc, then we'll start working on this one. I think this one looked kind of cool. I don't think I got any... My, my Zola ones might be new. The Civil War one is the one I play more. Uh, we also have the Earth 1610 one, but I think that one look, just looks kind of gross. Uh, so I kind of use this one. Pretty cool. It almost looks like a Noir variant as well. The Chibi Red Skull is new. I don't have a lot of Red Skull. I don't have any other Red Skull variants, but I haven't seen any that I really like. Uh, so that one's still probably the main Red Skull variant. And then in the 
around six drop land. I don't think I've really done all that much recently. I did get this uh, Slubnair variant of Odin, but I don't think you can beat the gold background Iron Allfather Odin. This just looks too clean. That's like perfect. So I don't think he'll be beating that anytime soon. And yeah, I don't think I got any other six drops recently. I haven't really been building out my six drop collection. Um, I have most of the variants I want there, uh, but we'll see which ones get released over time. Uh, so yeah, that's my some of my latest and greatest and favorite uh, variants that I've added to my collection. Uh, one variant I skipped out on that I wish I grabbed was the Carnival Ronin. I didn't know they had a Carnival set of cards. It's like Ronin playing the hammer game at the Carnival. Um, that's one I probably will pick up next time it comes back around. Um, I think that's one of the main outstanding ones. Um, I try not to like look at the like, data mined variants too often. I like to be surprised when they hit the store. Um, but I did see those brush stroke ones of like the Carnage, uh, Venom, Zabu, and I think there's one other card. I did get spoiled for those, and I do want those very badly. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a, an update on my uh, variant collection. Uh, let me know which ones I have are your, that are your guys' favorite, or if there's any ones that I don't have that you guys like. Uh, let me know down below if there's like an artist credit or a way that I can look up, uh, just so I can see which ones you guys are talking about. If there's one I don't own, uh, the more information you can give me, the better, just so I can actually see what you guys are talking about. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.